Farming Gale supplies trees and shrubs throughout the UK. Uh, a lot of those are plants that we produce ourselves. What we don't produce ourselves, we buy in and trade on from other suppliers. About three years ago, Bonningale decided to diversify its product range into plants, not just for the landscape, but for green roofs. That's plants to survive the rather strange world on top of a building. We recognised there was a need for more research into the specific area of, of growing media. Um, Bonningale was obviously keen to to put money into, into that, but we needed help, and the funding really went a long way to um, allowing us to take that leap of sponsoring a PhD, which is where Tom Young comes in, doing unique work into the growing medium that we needed to go on top of a building. One of the problems we were facing with the uh, green roof substrates that were available is they're more or less based on a recipe that was developed perhaps as much as 40 years ago and there's been no advancement in that recipe. And we wanted to produce substrates that would be better for perhaps dry conditions, wet conditions. Depending on what you want out of your substrate, you could select the type of substrate that would best suit your needs. What we're doing is uh, manipulating the water holding capacity, the nutrient content and the different types of components that come into the substrate to to create those characteristics to ensure we can have substrates that are better in drier conditions or better for luxuriant plant growth or better for uh, coping with extreme rainfall events and such like. It's science which falls back on an awful lot more than just the one person, Tom, who's carrying out the PhD. There's a great deal of facility and expertise behind Tom that he feeds into and takes from. The approach that we've taken using the University of Sheffield means that what we've got out of it is demonstrably better than anything else that's out there. We've learned that this scientific approach is a way of coming up with uh, something of great credibility. Green roofs are rapidly increasing in uh, use throughout the country. One of the main reasons for this is an architectural reason. There's legislation that means you have to be able to manage heavy rainfall events and green roofs are great at holding onto and slowly releasing uh, heavy rainfall. But there's also the more perhaps obvious benefits that are immediate to the eye, such as the benefits to biodiversity and increasing the green space that people have uh, access and exposure to. I like to think that the environment more generally is benefited. What we're trying to do is produce a product that helps plants survive on a rooftop. Um, and there are all sorts of benefits to the environment if that happens. That's things like flood amelioration, biodiversity improvements, the reduction of something called the heat island effect. And all of these are, are actually very important things in the urban environment and becoming more important every year. The research that we've been doing here is built on a number of years of research in plant and soil science that NERC has funded at the Department of Animal and Plant Sciences. And going forward, we've now been able to fund Tom's PhD, which is looking in further detail at green roof substrates and expanding the products even further so that we may be able to, in the future, offer even more uh, of a range of bespoke products to the building industry. Mm -hmm.